Want proof that there was meddling in our 2016 election? Well, you're about to get it. And the truth is, it did not come from Trump and his administration. No, this election meddling came directly from the Democratic National Committee, the DNC, who colluded with Ukraine in order to boost Hillary Clinton. And I'm going to prove it to you via an audio released by Glenn Beck at The Blaze. But before I get into it, I want to give a quick shout out to my partner at TrumpCoin2020.com. If you don't have one of these, now these are a newer coin than the last one. I highly encourage you to get it, especially where we're at today. Uh, but this is 0.999% silver, and right now you can get it for $5 off using the code LISA. So check it out at Trump2020.com. All right, back to the broadcast. Now, before I get into the audio recording, I want to state this, that there are a lot of people in America who don't realize what is happening. Right now, we have the President of the United States facing an impeachment inquiry, and we have members in Congress on both the Democrat and Republican side taking out or trying to take out the President by the end of the year via impeachment. And the truth is, they have no legal grounds to do so, he has committed no crime, and they're not even evaluating the evidence. They're saying, we don't need to look at the evidence, we don't need to evaluate it, we're going to make this call on our own. This is a smear directly in the face of the American people. Not only that, but they literally have no grounds to do so. Trump had every right to look into corruption. Take a look at his latest tweet where he said, as president, I have an obligation to end corruption, even if that means requesting the help of a foreign country or countries. It is done all the time. This has nothing to do with politics or a political campaign against the Bidens. This does have everything to do with their corruption. And I say, Amen to that. President Trump has every right to look into corruption, especially corruption of someone who's going to lead this country. Political candidates expose corruption of political candidates all the time. It's nothing uncommon. But better yet, it wasn't even what was done there. But here they are twisting it to make it look like it's some kind of election interference. Under that banner, every political party and every political person has committed some kind of crime, if you're going to look at it that way. But that's what they've done. Meanwhile, they're accusing the president of colluding with Ukraine in order to do the election. Same thing they did with Russia, right? That's what they're claiming and standing on. Meanwhile, they're the ones who are actually colluding and promoting Hillary Clinton. And uh, I hear she's up to rerun again. Oh, yay, Hillary for prison uh, in 2020 also. But take a look at this article. Now, this is on the dailywire.com bombshell. Audio email evidence shows DNC colluded with Ukraine to boost Hillary Clinton by harming Trump, report says. The article goes on. The Blaze has released an audio recording that they recently obtained that appears to show Artem Sinek, director of National Anti-Corruption Bureau of Ukraine, admitting that he tried to boost the presidential campaign of Hillary Clinton by sabotaging then-candidate Donald Trump's campaign. The connection between the DNC and the Ukraine government was a veteran Democratic operative by the name of Alexandria Chalupa, who had worked in the White House of public liaison during the Clinton administration and then went on to work as a staffer, then as a consultant for a DNC as what Politico reports. Now, Chalupa is the one we need to pay attention to. She is the one who worked directly with Ukraine's embassy. She was a liaison for Clinton administration. And according to this report, which you can read in its entirety, she basically spearheaded all the stuff through Hillary Clinton's campaign on Paul Manafort. She's also the one that was gathering some of the information on the fake Russian narrative against President Trump. But meanwhile, not one word about the collusion of the D and C. Now, what's actually in this uh, uh, video or, or, or video or audio leak, excuse me? What's in this audio leak? Well, I'm gonna show you the transcribed version, but I wanna encourage you first to go to The Blaze. I'll leave a link below and, and check it out in its entirety so you can hear the recording. Uh, but I'm going to go through the actual transcript. So here it is. Now, this is a couple of people talking, but here's what the first person says. Did they, those Russians, help him, your people? Cynic says, I think they did. Oh, did they? Yeah, I helped him too. Not him, but Hillary. I, I helped her. 
Yeah, right? Then her position tottered, right? Well, this is how they write about it, right? Hillary's humanitarian aid in unaudio part America question mark. Well, I am about the commentaries. At that time, we were not in dot dot dot. Cynic says, Trump, his purely inner problem, issue, they dominate over external matters. While Hillary Clinton, well, she is, um, how shall I put it? She belongs to the cohort of politicians who compromise the hegemony in the U.S., both in the U.S. and the entire world, right? For us, it is sort of better. For the Americans, however, what Trump is doing is better for them. Cola says, well, we have lots of those American experts here now. Well, there you see why Hillary lost the election. I was in charge of investigation of their black accounting records. We made the Manafort's data available to the public. So what? He was in prison. Manafort then was the head of the Supreme Headquarter of Trump, right? Then he was dismissed too, including due to the black accounting. After that, he was sentenced to 80 years imprisonment term. How about Trump? He did not give a S. They have their system working there and it works smoothly. Everything, everybody works smoothly there. And when they carried out the elections a week before the elections, FBI reopened the investigation in respect of Hillary. So her rating dropped by 7% and that's why Trump managed to win the elections in a pinch, I am still unable to understand why he's fighting with the FBI. They try to catch him on the hand. If it were not the FBI, he would not have won the election. They torpedoed Hillary's rating for 7%. Huh. Now here's one thing I want to mention about Cynic, right? Cynic, who is the guy in the dialogue, he is the director of National Anti-Corruption Bureau of Ukraine, and he was 100% convicted in Ukraine, right, of interfering in the U.S. election. He was convicted. And this audio recording, uh, I didn't play the audio clip, I just transcribed it for you, but this recording was leaked in 2017 in Ukraine on Ukrainian media. America missed it. But thankfully, Glenn Beck didn't and found the recording. Meanwhile, they want to scream, who's interfering in the 2016 election? Here's your audio proof of a man who's convicted of it saying he did it in support of Hillary Clinton. Wow. Meanwhile, they're trying to impeach our president. Imagine if they succeed in that sometime in December or whenever, but that's their target date. Merry Christmas to America. What a load of junk. But I mean, really? They're trying to impeach him by Christmas? That's not a Christmas present. That's gonna cause chaos in America. Meanwhile, we have the evidence, we have the proof, it's in their face, we have the audio recording, and meanwhile, they don't give a lick, and they're trying to frame the president of a crime he didn't commit. I suggest everyone listening contact their senators, and it doesn't matter if they're Republican or Democrat, and you tell them how you feel about the impeachment. And you know what? If they decide to vote privately on it where nobody can see how they voted, and they actually go through, then I think we should just elect them all out of office. Anyone who was on the fence or near the fence in any way, shape, or form, keep the good ones the ones who are standing for the president and the American people, we know who they are. But all the ones who are 50-50, vote them out of office because we don't know who would vote or wouldn't vote in a private setting. And I think America has a right to know. Let's just frame the president for a crime that the DNC is committing, and that is what they've done. We have the evidence in hand. Will Congress act? Well, they start subpoenaing people on the DNC? Will they start looking into the real corruption in the election? I think that's a good question to ask. Anyhow, I love you guys, and I'd love to get your thoughts, comments, and concerns. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.